So I am back with my first Space Marine 2 video and in this video guide people I bring you the lowdown on every available class you can play giving you guys in my opinion the pros and cons of each to hopefully help you decide what class to main. How's it going guys my name is DPJ now I just want to say a massive thank you to Focus Entertainment for giving me early access to this game but also for supplying me with two extra codes to give away to you guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you guys want to win the Ultra Edition of Space Marine 2, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave a comment down below. The more I see you active on my Space Marine 2 videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them before the 9th of September on release. Good luck everybody. Okay, so there are six classes in Space Marine 2. Uh, we have the Tactical, the Assault, the Vanguard, the Bulwark, the Sniper and the Heavy. All very unique in what they offer and how you can build them. And remember, for that PvE co-op, you can't have duplicate classes. So there's probably going to be more than one of these classes you may want to build with. Maybe all of them, because you're hardcore and that's cool too. So first up guys, we check out the Tactical class. So straight away I can tell you that the tactical class within Space Marines 2 among these 6 classes is definitely the most versatile. For one guys this class has access to the largest arsenal of weapons you can choose from. Uh, as within its primary slot you can select between 7 different weapons to use alongside its secondary bolt pistol and that chain sword melee weapon. Now with all weapons also home to their very own perk trees uh, which can only make the weapons even more powerful too. Not by the way a feature exclusive to the assault class, all classes and their available weapons can be upgraded and made more powerful with perk trees and so forth. But yes with the tactical class you can select between 7 different primary weapons. Ok so the tactical class has the special ability to reveal enemies in the selected area and makes them more vulnerable. This is called the Auspex Scan and it's actually a very decent too. Now looking at the perk tree if you aim to aware of how this works it's quite simple. There are 4 different sections with core, team, gear and signature and from left to right you can select one per vertical column. So in here guys you'll have 8 perks selected to my understanding, uh, a max that is, uh, but you'll also unlock them via leveling them from left to right, with you unlocking the top line first, then progressing on to the second line across and the third line across. Now these perks definitely differ between classes and work towards making each stand out even more. And no doubt in regards to what you can craft here, there's quite a lot you can build, even with the same class. Now looking at these perks it gives you an idea of what you can build here with some seriously powerful ones you unlock towards that level 25 which is where you unlock all perks. Here we have Mark for Death unlocked at level 25 uh, being the last where a headshot it will instantly kill a Majoris or extremist level enemy that's marked with the all specs. Gan. And after playing this game guys, that's quite an achievement. Now this however has a cooldown of 120 seconds which is probably rightfully so and as you can see by many of the perks here uh, they do increase in regards to damage output and benefits of the ability at hand here most perks when selected do come with drawbacks too for instance that precise collaboration class perk enemies marked by the all spec scan take an additional 75% damage but the scan radius is reduced by 25% and this happens a lot with these perk skill trees uh, but yes you can still build more powerful space marines but a lot of the time the drawbacks will be there. Now with the tactical class I'd say it's made with a balance of firepower and utility in mind and for me it's the perfect mid range class here on offer at the 6. Ok so next up guys we have the assault class which I would like to add is the polar opposite of that tactical class. This is an in your face close range melee class which I won't lie I hated at first because I like my guns but this just got more and more fun as I used it. So with no primary weapon slot here you have a choice between two bolt pistols and then a choice of unique melee weapons. They are the thunder hammer which is my go to, there's a chainsaw and then there's the power fist which I will add I prefer on another class we come to but yeah until we get to that port guys uh, we're going to talk about that thunder hammer. It just cleans the flow of enemies 
and it's just so fun to use with this assault class people but it is exclusive to this assault class you ain't getting this anywhere else so the ability on the assault class is a jump pack this enables enhanced dashes and powerful jumps resulting in new combat moves and that's exactly what it does and looking at this skill tree here this is as you'd imagine it's heavily opted towards even more melee damage and buffing effects with that jump pack ability with its level 25 perk unlock actually restoring the jump pack after a perfect dodge which is actually crazy and awesome at the same time now I won't lie, I never planned to go into this game wanting to create a melee build, it's never really been my kind of playstyle on any game ever, but having played in this game for numerous days now, there's nothing more I'm excited for than building exactly that. With that jump pack, the assault class to me felt like the best in regards to getting around and feeling the most fluid marine in regards to causing destruction, uh, because that jump pack really is the difference here. Being not only able to dodge forward, but also jump hover, shoot down, or just smash down from above. Being able to do this just kept a massive smile on my face to the point my face started to hurt. I do have a feeling this may be a fan favourite class here. Next up guys, we have the Vanguard class. Now this class has a unique ability of basically having a grappling hook. This will allow you to target enemies with it, sending you flying towards them and landing a devastating diving kick really cool i won't lie now the vanguard class also allows you to equip all three weapons too and although it doesn't have half the options the tactical class does there are three decent weapons here you can use in that primary slot the secondary slot you are limited to just a bolt pistol and a melee slot here you can choose between the combat knife and a chainsaw the combat knife is pretty epic by the way now players may be thinking that although you have that grapple hook which is cool are there actually any benefits to using the Vanguard over the Tactical? Well, I'd say there are loads. Uh, for one, two of the three primary weapons on offer here are exclusive to this class. The Instigator and the Oculus you can't use elsewhere. And these weapons really are up there with some of the best I've used in the game. Both, and I know this may sound weird, but both seem to have great accuracy, but at the same time feel nimble and truly work with this class. Now using this class at first, players might be confused as to what does it really offer. Well I'd say it's the perfect class for both balanced range and melee combat. And looking through each skill tree, there's lowers on off here which for me point this class in the direction of being a survivor. A class which can take less damage the more it deals, the class which perfectly supports the player he wants to slash and shoot from that close to mid range but not really have to worry too much about being overwhelmed. A class I'd say is perfect for that in and out kind of play style. Someone who looks to be quick in around that field and not staying in the same place too long. The only downfall here is the melee weapons. I was hoping for something unique to this class which also looked the part too. Although the combat knife is pretty cool, this is slightly disappointing here. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Bulwark class. Now this one was actually the first class I used in operations, purely because the one I selected was already being used in the up I joined. So I just randomly selected one, and this was the one I selected. I quickly learned that the Bulwark is the ultimate defensive marine. This is that class that support players, in my opinion, will mostly enjoy. I won't say it's a bad class at all, because it truly isn't. It's just by far the best in the game for what it is, and that is that it helps you keep your team alive. It just isn't the class that I enjoyed the most, but I did enjoy what I was using here. So the Bulwark's ability is called the Chapter Banner, which stores armor to all squad members in the area of effect. And it's this which upon you building this class right will be the main reason behind your team succeeding or failing in those harder missions. A lot of the skill tree for the Bulwark is catered towards that support play style, but it does offer more than this at the same time. So with this class you don't have a primary weapon, uh, but your secondary weapon can indeed be that plasma pistol, although not an exclusive weapon. It's a real fun one to use and kind of supports this class perfectly in my opinion. But it's all about that melee weapon on offer here, that power sword. Man oh man I love this thing. And as an exclusive weapon here too, it's what I mean by the class not being restricted or strictly a support class. This class is formidable at that close range too. And that's not only because of the power sword. 
this class and you're using it, you also notice that you can wield a shield, which absorbs great amounts of damage. Now, another thing to mention to the power sword being my go to here, I really enjoyed also using that power fist too. And it's why I love the three loadouts you can use because within missions you can switch between them at certain loadout points that do appear. So not only do you have uh, an ability which helps players, uh, can also affect the enemy, you also have the blueprints at the same time to create a devastating close quarters monster marine with that ball walk. Next up guys we have the sniper class. So the sniper class is in fact the best for that long range combat. But in my opinion, it's a form of combat, I will straight up add, wasn't as apparent within the early operations I took part in. But also in saying that, it's nothing that can't be incorporated into a playstyle of the player on this class upon leveling them up and working with the skill tree person off here. So the sniper's ability is called Camo Cloak, conceals you until your next attack breaks Camo Cloak. And while well, this does exactly what it says on the tin, basically. Now looking at the perk tree, you can see that although the sniper's ability doesn't seem like it would be that effective, you quickly come to realize what one could achieve here. With many perks within the perk tree offering various different ways to trigger this camo cloak. And not only that, buff you while you're in it too. Again, but not only that, buff you when you come out of it too in various different ways. It's this class I thought I'd dread using because of how hectic this game gets most of the time, with players quickly becoming overwhelmed. But what they have done here is make sure players have options for all scenarios. So although you'd probably be like, I thought the sniper class would be strictly for that range play, it's actually far from that point. You can build a great support class here at the same time, or switch out that primary sniper rifle for a more friendly mid to close range weapon, as there are four options here for that primary weapon slot on the sniper class. Two exclusive sniper rifles, with the bold sniper rifle and that last facile I believe that's pronounced, I'm probably wrong I normally am guys. But you can also use the bolt carbine and the stalker bolt rifle perfect for more hectic mid to close range encounters that will happen here. The sniper's class secondary weapon is a bolt pistol and its melee is a combat knife. Both are quite decent to be honest I love the combat knife I'm not gonna lie and it's perfect for this class run around invisible dashing and slashing you will absolutely love it here. So a pleasant surprise for that sniper class, one that will need time dedicated in getting it right for more scenarios, but one I feel will definitely feel the most rewarding upon you leveling this dude up and creating different play styles and load outs from you going invisible to slashing and dashing to popping heads with that perfect precision. Okay, so next up and lastly guys, we have the heavy class. And while that's exactly what this thing is, heavy. So its ability is called the Iron Halo, creates a powerful barrier blocking all range damage. Now what you might also be noticed is that there's no melee weapon available on this class, but you do get a primary and secondary slot. The primary slot is home to two exclusive weapons, but the three here in total, we have the heavy bolter, the heavy plasma incinerator and the multi melter. <laughs> Three weapons which provide unmatched power output in regards to suppressive fire and armor destroying capabilities. The second day you can choose between the plasma pistol and the bolt pistol and again no melee weapon here. Now going through the perk tree of the heavy class you'll come to the quick realization of what this class can be capable of. For sure no melee weapon but it doesn't need it. It's a class I feel which is made with the term one man soldier in mind. 80% of the perks here are in regard to making yourself even more powerful the more enemies you kill. And at the same time, the less damage you take, the more you use, which I love. Rewarding the player for giving zero fucks is always a plus in my book. Uh, but with this class isn't all about you, there's plenty here to assist teammates at the same time. With buffs to the Iron Halo, this a lot like the Bulwark will massively uh, be necessary for certain teams to succeed. Which is what it's all about in my opinion with this game. 
And although I understand most players hate the idea of playing support, these two classes in this game which offer support in the best means possible also at the same time have so much going on for them in regards to slaying too, support could indeed be the most popular classes we see. Now there's a lot of balance in this game which I love but also at the same time it's really needed. But yes guys, there we have it, my lowdowns, pros and cons of the 6 available classes for Space Marines 2. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me what class you're looking forward to use down below in that comment section. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.